Another critical breathing tool that we use in the neurocentric training approach uh, was developed in Sweden. It's called a relaxator. Now, there's nothing particularly cool about this device. What it really is is a habit training device. When it comes to working with the respiratory system, it is critical to get people to practice conscious breathing, usually a minimum of 10 minutes a day. We actually ask our clients and athletes to work up to 20 minutes a day. The way that this device works is uh, it's very nice because it can be held just between the lips. It has a rotary dial here that allows you to increase or decrease, particularly your resistance during exhalation. So normally when we have athletes work with this, we ask them to do nasal inhale and then a long, slow, controlled exhale against resistance. This is a kind of technical form of what we call straw breathing. Uh, this type of breathing has been shown in multiple studies to increase relaxation response, decrease heart rate, decrease blood pressure. So we typically have people begin with a two second inhalation through the nose and then somewhere between a four to maybe eight to 10 second uh, exhalation through the device against resistance. A couple of cool features. Uh, I love the fact that it has just a cord. You can throw it around your neck so that if you're out for a walk, um, you have it in front of you as a reminder. A lot of our athletes at home hang it from their computer so that whenever they walk into the office in the morning, they go, oh yeah, I can't forget to breathe while I'm working today. The other advantage of it being this small is it also allows you to incorporate the device into movement drills. So for instance, if I have uh, Micah here, she's working on breathing, I can say now on your inhales and exhales, just start neck rotations. Because one of the things that we typically find is that when people practice breathing, they go, now's my breathing practice time. And they lay down on the floor and they put their hands on their stomach and they focus on breathing and nothing else. And unfortunately, what we really want is to build better habitual breathing practices into all of our movement work. Uh, and the relaxator is a great tool to allow you to do that. So uh, if you train with us, you'll often see people wearing these while they're squatting or while they're doing body weight exercises or other mobility drills. Uh, and for that reason, we consider it to be a absolutely essential tool.